Nola has this thing now where the tiny crevice between the bot. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know what's wrong with her eye. She keeps like squinting one eye. Are you okay? Or maybe she's just mad at me. I don't know. Um, but she keeps like hitting the box and I'm like, there's nothing there. It, she's mad at me. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I have, um, I called, uh, the someone who was interested in having me do, or is interested in having me do a demo reel for their daughter. So that's exciting. Um, they're going to be sending me their daughter's materials. Um, so that's exciting. And I'm checking through social media now. Um, cause I haven't checked it in a few days. Eek. eek. Um, and then the next big thing is to finish my work permit application. Yay. Um, and, and then I'm going to do some really solid research and literally look at every single part of the website I can possibly look at to see what type of work permit, um, like if I'm allowed to work full time while I'm waiting for the verdict. Like, I think that's what it is, but I'm not positive. So I need to do that research. Um, but we shall see. It'll be, it'll be interesting for sure. So, after talking to my mom for two hours on the phone, and I also FaceTimed Kendall, she had some exciting news to tell me, so yay Kendall, um, uh, I have submitted my application for my work permit, woohoo! This means that from this moment forward, I am technically eligible to work in Canada full time because I have a valid study permit, or I had a valid study permit at the time of my, um, at the time of, of when I submitted it. So I was going to apply for um, the, the, basically the extras casting thing where you, um, you basically put in your information and they basically put you in a database and when they have work, they will contact you. But then I realized, so Kendall actually had a really bad experience with getting COVID tested. Like it, first of all, to me, it did not sound like it did not sound like the best type of COVID testing. Um, I think they, I don't know why. Um, but anyway, here they seem to just do the ones where it's like just like inside of this part of your nose. And like, if that's the case, then great. But if it's anything other than that, like I'm kind of terrified. Um, so I'm really going back and forth of like, cause I really would love to work on a set here now that I have the opportunity to and I'm allowed to. But at the same time, I'm like, mm, COVID testing, like, how bad is it? I really don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be debating with that for the rest of the day. I just ordered pizza because I had a free pizza from Domino's. Um, so that is currently being prepped. Um, I swear every single time I do this, the same person, you know, when it says like so-and-so began custom making your order, that's literally, it's the same person. Every single time I order pizza, they are always making my pizza. It's this one person. I always see their name anyway. So, um, yeah, it's only 135. I've gotten the biggest thing today that I wanted to get done done, which is great. Um, and now I think I'm gonna start finishing reading this book that is huge. So hopefully I'll get it, I'll finish reading it today. I'm currently outside waiting for my pizza. This is the first time in a while that they haven't had to call me to tell me like, hey, we're downstairs. So I also have decided that I am going to sign up for the backstage cat, the, the I mean, uh, background actors thing because why not? And I feel like if I don't at least try to have the opportunity to work on a set in Vancouver, I'm gonna kind of kick myself for it afterwards. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then start reading. So I'm gonna eat my food and then yeah. I have acquired the pizza and extra food. I'm smiling, I don't know if you can tell. I have officially completed my casting profile. Um, I will only be contacted if and when they have work that they've chosen me for or that matches me. So it is 314 and I'm gonna read. I finished my book, yay. Um, it was a good ending. Um, it was a good series. It was just, it was long and it took me a long time to get through it, but now I can start reading <laughs> the Umbrella Academy graphic novels. I am so thrilled. I am usually not a graphic novel person. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit more into graphic novels and comics because like I have a whole ton of the Archie comics and obviously now I have these and I have some Spider-Man comics that I've read um, but it's just like not automatically what I go to but I know they usually I read them a lot faster because usually there's not nearly as many words on a page so yes this book is like this is tall it's a big it's a it's a tall book um, 
Anyway, yes, I'm stoked. I'm so excited. It's like 9.30, um, but I'm gonna start reading this now because I'm just so excited. I'm currently watching one of the, uh, a one-act play that some of the uh, people from Star Kid were in. I finished watching a very Potter senior year today as well. It's called the, um, the Solve It Squad, and I love it. It's amazing. Um, so I'm on part seven, but I'm gonna end this, so I'm gonna upload this while I'm watching some of it. I'm not gonna finish it tonight, but, um, but yes, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.